Hello, my dear student. Today we will take our Advertising Management and Public Relations course for fourth year business administration session, English program for week nine, lecture nine, with you, Dr. Sally Aimer. Today we will continue chapter 17, direct online social media and mobile marketing. As we talked last week, about the forms of direct and digital marketing. We divide it into two main sessions. The first session is the digital and social marketing and the other section is the traditional direct marketing. For the first session is digital and social uh, media marketing. It divided into multiple types. The first one online marketing and it continue with site online advertising, email online videos, blogs and social media marketing and mobile marketing. Today, we will take social media marketing and mobile marketing. And the other type is the traditional direct marketing. It contains face-to-face uh, -face selling, direct mail marketing, catalog marketing, telemarketing, direct response, TV marketing, and the kiosk marketing. And the post type of uh, digital and social media marketing and traditional direct marketing, its main uh, objective is to build direct customer engagement and community. So we will begin with social media and mobile marketing. Social media marketing is an independent and a commercial online social network. So it depends on uh, trying to socialize and share message, opinion, picture, video, and other content with dif different people. And the marketer uh, main objective for using social media marketing is to know how to use social media to encourage customer uh, engagement and also it mean its main focus on how to make their community communities a suitable platform for marketing content as we have said before the main objective is to build the customer engagement and to build customer communities after we have achieved these two objectives so we will have the ability to achieve a benefit for both social media user and brands. Also, you uh, should put into your considerations that most social media to, be a, to, achieve a success, uh, to achieve a success and to be a successful, it should take into consideration that it should be able to achieve a profit without driving off uh, their loyal user. So it should take into account uh, a modernization issue. Also, you should know when the marketer uh, decide to use a social media, they have two ways. The first one, they can use the exi existing social media or they can set up their own. So they can depend on the existing social media and this represents the easiest way for the marketer to depend on it by depending on the Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus and other social media pages. And you should know that there are some major uh, social network um, are huge and people depend on it uh, very heavily, such as Facebook, uh, as there are uh, nearly 1.6 1. billion people access Facebook every month. So you should conclude that there are some type of social media that people depend on it. Uh, more uh, heavily and they have a lot of uh, re respondents that use this type of social media. When we talk about social media, you should take into consideration the advantage of using social media and the disadvantage of using social media. So now we will talk about the advantage of social media marketing. First of all, social media are targeted and personal. So. They depend on tailored brand content with individual consumer and the customer communities and the social media are an interactive way. So it depends on uh, uh, trying to uh, put in their uh, brands and uh, try to make a promotion for it and the customer are trying to participating in customer conversation and it, it's a good way for listening for a customer feedback. Also, social media are also immediate and timely, as customers can reach to it at any time and anywhere with timely 
and with relevant marketing content. Also, also social media can be very cost effective method as many social media are free or in, inexpensive to use. Also, you should take into your consideration the low, the low cost of social media. Uh, it will make it uh, much uh, easier uh, reach you for uh, different uh, types of business, uh, uh, such as the small business and the brand, as they can't afford a lot uh, a lot of cost and they can't uh, afford a uh, big budget marketing campaign so it will be a suitable solution for the small business to use the social media because it's a very uh, uh, cost effective method and it's very it represents a much cheaper uh, way for the small business to use also, you must focus on the biggest advantage of social media is their engagement and social triggering capabilities. So as we have said before, that the social media marketing encourages customer engagement and the help in building customer communities. So also social media are well suited in creating and shaping and sharing brand content, experience, information and ideas. But on the other side, social media marketing also uh, has a lot of uh, challenges. First of all, many companies um, uh, find it's very difficult to, to measure the result of using social media marketing. Also, social network are largely user controlled. So the company goal when they try to use social media is to make the brand a part of customer uh, con conversation and their life. So it will be very difficult to make uh, good control on the social net, uh, network because it's very largely because you must be able to control uh, all customers that will use this social ne uh, network. The other type is uh, mobile marketing. When we uh, listen mobile marketing, so you the first some things that will come into your mind that you will use the mobile devices. So you will send the marketing message, make a promotion, and the content will be delivered to customers through using mobile devices. So as we have said before, that we marketers use mobile marketing to encourage customer engagement anywhere, anytime during the buying and the relation building process. And uh, mobile marketing represents uh, the best selection for many marketers because uh, customers now have uh, mobile uh, devices and uh, the increasing use uh, of mobile devices and also because consumers have so much control over social media content, even a seemingly harmless social media campaign can backfire. So you should know that a social media campaign should be in a good preparation because it may be have a negative effect on the company. This is only for your knowledge. This slide is for your know, uh, for knowledge to know how the US or United States or the American people depend heavily on the mobile device. Uh, they uh, told us that uh, now now greater than 100 person in the United States uh, have mobile device and many people possess more than one mobile device and also almost 7% uh, of people in the United States own a smartphone and nearly half of all US uh, households are currently mobile only household with no landline so they depend mainly on the mobile devices rather than the landline and also there are about 3 million applications available and in average uh, on a smartphone, people have uh, always uh, from one, from 11 to uh, 20 application installed on their mobile device. Also, you should put into your consideration why marketers depend heavily on mobile marketing now. First of all, as we have said before, it will encourage customer engagement and it will be help in building customer communities, but also it will be a good 
way for simulate immediate buying. It will co encourage customers to make uh, an immediate buying, and also it will make uh, shopping more much easier and it will make a brand enrichment and it will enrich the brand experience. Also, it will help marketers to provide consumer with the important information that customer need and with incentive and the choice at the moment they are expressing an interest or when they are or most likely to make a buying choice. For example, Taco Bell uses mobile advertising to reach a consumer at what it calls mobile moment that matter what we mean by moment that matter that the brand has the ability to reach customer at the right moment at the right time this photo and this example will make you to make a good understanding about what we mean by the moment that matter here, the Taco Bell is a fast food uh, restaurant at uh, USA. Uh, it shows uh, us this photo that uh, the Taco Bell uses mobile marketing and it will use it to carefully target mobile advertising as the Taco Bell reach breakfast cu customers at the moment that matter. So what we mean here by the moment at the, uh, uh, that matter is that when the customer first opens their eyes in the morning, they uh, have the message from Taco Bell. They told them about the available breakfast at this restaurant and to uh, add it to your order and to make an order and you will uh, receive your order. So they make uh, the advertising or they use the mobile devices and the mobile advertising to reach their customer at the right time. There is another example how Starbucks use the mobile advertising also. As we see here that the Starbucks mobile application let customers use their smartphone by using a Starbucks card to make fast and easy purchase. So you can uh, purchase a Starbucks card and enter it into your mobile and you can use it to make fast and easy purchases. So most marketers have created their own mobile online sites and you can uh, use it uh, according by using your mobile device or other have created useful or entertaining mobile application to engage customer with their brand and help them to shop. So marketer can use two option by creating their mobile, mobile online site or by creating useful and entertaining mobile application. So you can enter into the online site or using the mobile application to encourage customer engagement with the brand. also when we talk about uh, digital and social media marketing. Uh, you should know that digital direct marketing, online social uh, media and mobile marketing, all of these types that we have talked uh, according to this type uh, the last lecture and this like lecture, it will offer both great promise and many challenge for the future. There are a lot of people when this uh, ty different types of direct digital marketing appear, they um, believe that these types of method will uh, try to uh, disappear the traditional methods of marketing. But this is a wrong belief. This is the digital and social media marketing will remain as one of the important approach to the marketplace that work in a cooperation with other different type of traditional marketing tool. So this is type of uh, digital and social media marketing. We can't use it and substitute it uh, and substitute it and try to delete the traditional message. You can use both type of message together side by side and try to use it in a good cooperation to encourage customer engagement and to encourage the building customer communities. So when our company depends on digital and social media marketing, we can't, we can't prevent using other traditional methods. We can use it together side by side. So 
Most marketers, however, hold a more realistic view. For most companies, digital and social media marketing will remain just one important approach to the marketplace that works alongside other approaches in a fully integrated marketing mix. So, the digital and social media marketing will be integrated with other marketing mix and traditional method. Here, we will begin talking about the traditional direct marketing form. Although the fast growing digital marketing tools have grabbed most of the headline lately, traditional direct marketing tools are very important in life and still heavily used. And is that what I have said before in the last slide? So we can depend with the two types of marketing, the digital social marketing and the traditional direct marketing uh, for side by side. And the measured traditional forms of direct marketing, for example, face-to-face -face or personal selling, direct mail marketing, catalog marketing, telemarketing, direct response, television, and its abbreviation is DRTV. So the abbreviation of DRTV, direct response, television marketing and the classic marketing first of all we will speak about direct mail marketing what we mean by direct mail direct mail so you will receive a mail from your marketer so it will be one-to-one -one communication to say direct in this case it will be one-to-one -one communication also, it will encourage high target market selectivity and it can be personalized. So it will be encouraged, personalized and is very flexible and allows the easy measurement of results. So you should know that the direct mail is one to one communication and it will encourage personalized contact and it's very flexible and easy way to measure our result. Also, direct mail has proved successful in promoting all kinds of product. So you can use it with the different types of product from book insurance, travel gift item, and so on. And it will be very helpful for industrial product for all kinds of industrial products. So it will be very useful for the different types of products. And also, charities also use direct mail heavily to raise billions of dollars each year. So, after we read this paragraph, you should conclude that the direct mail is very uh, important method and very successful for achieving the promoting activities for all kinds of product. And for the industrial product and the charity also can use it. And also, Direct mail cost more per thousand people richer than mass media such as television or magazine that people it reach are, uh, are much better prospect. So the direct mail have the, has the ability to reach for uh, a large number of people such as the television or the magazine. This is a photo that show you what I mean by direct mail marketing. You will receive a lot of uh, uh, direct mail, and you may be presented as a junk mail if sent to people who have no interest in it. For this reason, smart marketers are targeting their direct mail carefully so as not to waste their money and risk time. So they are designing permission-based programs that send the direct mail only to those who want to receive it. So he will ask you if you would like to receive direct mail from uh, their store or not. If you told them that you will not, uh, you will not be like to receive such as this type of this direct mail, so they will not send you to you. But if you told them that you would like to re receive this type, such as this type from them, so they will send it to you.
because the marketer would not like to waste their money and the two not to waste their recipient time. There is another type of traditional uh, marketing is the catalog marketing. Direct marketing through print, video, or digital catalogs that are mailed to select customers, made available in a store or presented online. So they may be sent to you a catalog for their customers and they also ask you if you would like to receive such this type of catalog or you would not like to receive this type. So Catalog Age magazine used to define a catalog as a printed bound piece of at least eight page at least it would be contained eight page selling multiple product and offering a direct ordering merchant mechanism so here i'd like to know what are the main advantage of digital catalog uh, uh, there is two different types of catalog you will receive a printed uh, and uh, printed catalog and also you will receive a digital catalog digital catalog it will uh, has a different it will have different uh, advantage first of all it will eliminate printing and mailing cost and also you can uh, edit or remove uh, a product and the feature can be added or removed uh, uh, and also they can uh, try to adjust the price so the marketer can adjust the price to match the demand and also online catalog can also uh, provide unlimited amount of merchandise but when i send you to uh, to you a printed catalog so it will be at least an eight uh, uh, pages and uh, you also uh, put into you and also you will put into your consideration the cost of printing these types of catalog but for online you will eliminate this type uh, of cost and also you will have the ability to try to provide a different types of your product and make customers make a good selection between a variety of a product customers can carry digital catalog anywhere they go even when shopping at physical stores so when i when I uh, was at uh, the physical stores, I can show it to the girl there and ask it her to bring for me the product I like to purchase. Online catalog also offer a broader assortment of presentation formats, including search and videos also. And the digital catalog can be uh, interactive. And here he gives me an example for IKEA catalog application as uh, it will allow customers to experiment with room design. So it will help you to uh, try to make uh, 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 different uh, uh, try to put different sofa or uh, a couch uh, in a room design and try to uh, select the best one and try to make a best contrast between different colors and to see here how an IKEA product might look in their uh, own space and to share product and design idea with other via social media so it's a good way for uh, customers to try to uh, to try their furniture before they decide to buy it or not and try to ask their friends uh, via social media network to ask them about their opinion of the uh, if they like their uh, uh, matching of colors or not there is another type is called telemarketing from i say tele so this is an abbreviation of telephone so it will involve using the telephone to sell directly to consumer and business customers so we are all familiar with telephone marketing directed toward consumer but business to business marketer are also used telemarketing so you should know after i have read this paragraph that telemarketing is a very useful tool for customers and for business to business also telephone marketing it will be used to sell directly to consumer and business so it will be used for make a sell for both consumer and business all 
Also, telemarketing designed and the target telemarketing provide many benefits, such as including purchasing convenience and increased product and service information. Also, there is another type it's called the direct response television marketing. As we have said before, its abbreviation is DRTV. It takes one of two major forms. The first form is direct response television advertising. It takes often uh, from 60 or 120 seconds in length. Uh, in this time frame, they will try to persuade their customers to purchase their product by making a direct connection with the marketer by trying a two free numbers or uh, by using online site for making an order for their product or it may take another form it may also include full 30, 30 minutes or longer advertising pro program called informericals for a single product so it may take two forms for direct response television advertising its time period it will be 60 or 120 seconds and length and try to persuade their customers to purchase a product by using a tool free number or by using online site or it will be a more, much longer for 30 minutes or longer advertising for making promotion for only one single product by using uh, four medicals. Here, for example, <laughs> this slide shows us how Kodak uh, use a direct uh, response television advertising. It will make uh, their advertising about the Kodak uh, product and ask a customer to make a direct connection with the Kodak by using the numbers they show them or by uh, by calling the numbers or by entering on uh, in the online site and to try to make an online order and here there is an example for informal adver uh, advertising that asked us that told us that it takes two forms it may be short form and it may be long form for long form, it has a time length for three minutes, and for short, you know, short form informicals, it will be from three seconds to two minutes long. Informicals are also known as direct response television commercial or direct response marketing. For example, here for uh, it will make uh, informical advertisement um, for the Swiber, and it will. Uh, make an uh, short it will take short form or long form for short form it will be from 30 seconds to two minutes and for long form it will take time duration for 30 minutes and it will uh, try to persuade the customers to make the direct purchase and by contacting with the company directly through their two free numbers or by using the online site for the company and to make the direct purchase the other form for the direct response television marketing is interactive TV advertising. At interactive TV advertising, it represents a more recent form of direct response television marketing. It will let a viewer to interact with the television programming and advertising, and uh, and they try to use the, uh, their interactive cable system, internet, read the smart TV and smartphone and tablet. Consumer can now use their TV remote uh, phones or other f uh, device to obtain more information or make a purchase directly from TV advertising. For example, H&M now uh, make an advertising and let viewer with certain Samsung smart TV to use their remote to interact directly with the commercial. So this is represent a recent type form for direct response marketing. And uh, for example, the HM and the M make uh, their customer try to and, uh, make a, a direct connection with their commercial by using the remote device for the smart TV, Samsung the smart TV, and to interact directly with their com commercial and to purchase a product directly. And this is represents the last type for the traditional marketing tool is acoustic marketing. So 
as consumers become more and more comfortable with digital and touch screen technology, many companies are placing information and ordering machine called Kiosk. So they use uh, Kiosk to make uh, the purchase much easier and easier. And uh, we and we enter a lot of stores and airports, hotels, college campus, and other location. You will find this Kiosk. So Kiosk are everywhere these days, from cell service hotel and airline check-in device to an uh, amended product and information Kiosk and malls and in store ordering device that lets you order merchandise not carried in the store. Also, many modern smart Kiosk are now wireless enabled, and some machine can use facial recognition software that lets them guess gender and age and make product recommendation based on this data. So the smart music that you can uh, stand in front of, of it and the machine can guess your age and gender and according to your demographic uh, information they will give you a recommendation about the product that can be good for you and that fits you. Here are an example for Kiosk marketing that you will go to the machine and you will make an order for the product you need. And here McDonald's use this types of Kiosk marketing. You when you enter um, the restaurant, you will go to the machine and you will make uh, your order by yourself without any help. So you will uh, make a select for from the menu and you will select all the drinks you need and the food you need, and you will uh, enter your uh, credit card and you will make as a payment for uh, the order and after that you will take your receipt uh, and also you will take your uh, numbers of the table if you decide to uh, take your food at the restaurant or you will make a selection that you will uh, take it uh, take it away so after that they will the waiter will bring you your food so in this case, you will need a direct contact with any uh, waiter or only and asking anyone to make the order for you. So you will make your order by yourself. So after we finish our chapter 17, so you now you should know our forms of direct and digital marketing. We have two types, digital and social media marketing and traditional direct marketing. First of all, we have finished the last lecture and we continue today with social media marketing and mobile marketing and we also cover all the traditional diet marketing for today and you should know that both types of uh, direct and digital marketing has uh, have main objective is to build customer engagement and to build customer community So now we finished chapter 17. If you have any question, you can you can contact with me on my email or on our WhatsApp group. Don't hesitate to contact with me. I'm available all the time. Uh, stay home and stay safe and take care of yourself and your family. See you next week, inshallah. Goodbye.